Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in the middle of September, back in 2020, I started this YouTube channel. And I remember just after starting this channel, there was a lot of hype in the media that Microsoft was working on a new user interface for Windows 10 that was going to be bringing a brand new look and feel, a visual redesign, new layout changes, rounded corners, fluent design, and so on. And we were all getting excited about this because um, uh, it was back then thought that Microsoft was going to be rolling out these visual redesign changes to Windows 10 with the Windows 10 version 21H2 feature update that was going to be rolling out in the second half of 2021. Now, obviously back then we didn't know that Microsoft was actually starting to work on Windows 11 and all those visual redesign cosmetic changes skipped Windows 10, as we know by now, and were moved over into the brand new operating system, Windows 11. Now, funny enough, um, a couple of years later, there are now screenshots that are doing the rounds online of apparently the earliest available Cobalt build that has been leaked online now recently. And that's build 21262, but only um, on ARM64 architecture. So if we have a look at one or two of these leaked screenshots, we can see something interesting. And by the way, Cobalt would then go on to become Windows 11 version 21H2, which rolled out in the second half of 2021, when we were expecting, obviously, all those design changes to roll out to Windows 10. And if we zoom in here with this about Windows Winver screenshot uh, taken from these leaked images, and I do apologize for the gritty image quality. It says version 2004, OS build 21262. Now, interestingly, as we know by now, the 20,000 build number um, moved over to Windows 11. And Windows 10 um, carried on with the 19,000 build number. So as an example, Windows 10 version 22H2, which is the current stable release, has a build number, as many of you will know, 19,045. So this would eventually become Windows 11. And if we head to the next screenshot, this gives us a bit of interesting detail. Now, what we are looking at here is a modified copy that replaces several components with variants sourced from private builds compiled by Microsoft developers and was shared online on the 21st of August this year, which was yesterday in my region. So if we zoom in here, the watermark here in the bottom right-hand corner of the desktop in the screenshot says test mode, Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, evaluation copy build 21262, and something else to take note of uh, in this screenshot is that the settings icon here in the taskbar was exactly the same settings icon which would roll out with Windows 11 and skipped Windows 10. So another clue that Microsoft was already working on Windows 11 because as an example, if we just head uh, over to Windows 10 to show you the current settings icon, there we go. So it still looks very legacy compared to the icon we are seeing in this screenshot, which as mentioned would roll out to Windows 11. So that's another little interesting aspect. And then if we head on to the final screenshot for the purpose of this video, there were a couple of others made available online, but these are the three screenshots which give us kind of the gist of what is happening in this early build. Yeah, we can see that if we look at the task manager, it says Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 3. So it was first found on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 3 development device. So that was another interesting um, fact about this early build. So nonetheless, I thought that was interesting that already uh, back then Microsoft was already starting to work on Windows 11. And we all thought that Microsoft was going to be rolling out those changes to Windows 10. And as mentioned, skip Windows 10 and would eventually become Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.